Hello everyone and welcome to the Sip and Spin YouTube channel. My name is Skylar and over here is Brittany. And Mochi. And Mochi. <laughs> She's here too. Mochi's always here. <laughs> always. Um, so we just got done trying to build a house on The Sims and I about lost my shit. So now we're going to date dads. So we're going to date dads. We're going to date dads. Woo. Woo. Um, neither of us have played this game, right? Have you never played this? I've never you? played it. I've never played this either. I thought you played it. No. Oh. I've been saving it. <laughs> oh. I've owned this game for a while because I really like these types of games. So I've owned it. But I never actually got around to play it. I've seen some other people play it. So I know like a little bit about it. Personally, though, never played it. So. Well, this is going to be an adventure for us both. It's going to be an adventure. So I was wondering, how do you want to do it? Do you want to, like, collaborate? Or do you think we should, like, take turns making decisions? What do you think would be more interesting? I feel like collaborating because we have a lot of different opinions. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> it'd be good entertainment to see us argue. All right. We're sleeping. Okay. Yeah, this is text, so do you want to read out loud, or do you want to take turns reading out loud? We can take turns. Okay. <laughs> this is How is that again? Dad. You can be the dad. <laughs> oh, is this the dad? Are we the dad? We're the dad. Do we date other dads? Yeah. <gasps> OMG. Dad, wake up! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to wake up, pretend to be dead, or fight for my minutes? I feel like the dad thing to do would be... We pretend to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you want to do? <laughs> or do you want to do something else? <laughs> Let's do it. It's like, does this have consequences? Yeah, everything. Yeah, it's a choice-based um, game. <laughs> well, Amanda's going to hate us now. I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. <laughs> Naturally. Amanda shakes me. <laughs> Come on, Dad. This hasn't worked on me since I was six. <laughs> I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God. <laughs> Amanda, I bequeath to you all of my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. Okay, well, your corpus better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. Oh, oh we're moving. I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Why would you fall asleep in that position? I wouldn't be able to. Morning, Manda Panda. Aww. Aww. Yikes. Dad breath. Go brush your teeth. She's cute. She's I cute. like her egg pin. <laughs> Build that dad. Build that dad. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Thick. Slim. Athletic binder. Thick. Okay. So we have tanks, we have binders, and then we have athletic, thick, slim. For all of them. Hey, could you not? Should we be fit? Should we be thick? Could you okay. <laughs> find a cat? Right <laughs> what kind of bod should we be? What kind of dad bod? Stop it, Mochi. I feel like Okay. You're gone. Should we go for the athletic dad and the crop top? And the crop? Yeah. Okay, I like it. Okay, skin comb? They're like, I am very pale, so this will not be based on me. <laughs> I was like, we could try and make him look like a mixture of us. So I'm a bit tanner than you are, and you're quite pale. So like somewhere in the middle. Like that? Would that be real? Or is that too tan? -ish? That might be too tan. I'm like, I'm not red though. These are like really red pills. Yeah. What about that? That one. This one. Or this, this one. That one. Oh, I mean, that's pretty pale for you. 
We could try it though. I mean, if you like it. Well, like in the middle of us. Okay. You think you're maybe like here then? Yeah, I'm probably you're there. Not, like, yellow. No, I don't have the olive undertones. And there's a red. Yeah, I guess that one works. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I'm like, how does this? Oh wait, do we want hair or no hair? Can we be a hairy dad or shaven dad? I feel like we should be a hairy dad. Okay. Okay. I really don't have a preference. You could go really strong jaw, with like these two. Even that one, or you go more rounded. I think I like that third one on the top. That yeah. One? Clean or shadow? I don't know, because there's a facial hair option down there, so we can okay. maybe come back we'll to come that. Back. Regular hair. Oh my god. I love a top knot. I do lie. love the top knot. But I can't do blonde. No. Okay, good. As long as we can agree on that. I can't do blonde, blonde men. I'm sorry. Blonde men out there. That's fun, too. Okay, I think I'm still obsessed with the top knot. Okay, good. I think that's my favorite option. <laughs> I'm glad we agree. Okay, I so now we color. need something in the middle of red and dark brown. We have red, red. And then we have dark, dark, not still kind of red. Maybe this is the dark, dark brown? Oh, no, that one's dark, dark brown. Yeah. So then... Is that your red? This one? No, that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's more of your red. So we could go with the brown with the reddish tints. Oh. No, the one next to your red. The one next to it, not the other side. I don't know which one you're saying is mine, so I'm just clicking all of them. <laughs> okay, that is your hair color. Oh, okay, sure. It just, I dye it, so it changes, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, if you But like that, that one's one. brown with like red-ish, or so brown with red-ish. Okay, yeah, we gotta change those brows though. They're like- Yeah, changing. definitely, make them the same it's color. <laughs> and I guess, Oh, well, oh, so he just looks sad. <laughs> so angry. What? Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I don't honestly love any of them. No. <laughs> I think maybe these are the better, but I don't know. Or just the regular. I don't know. I don't know. Those are a lot. Yeah. I mean, these those... are so sad. Are those sad? I thought those was... These ones? Do those look sad to you? I thought the ones underneath them looked sad. Uh, yeah, I meant like the, the wispy ones. Oh, they yeah. Sad <laughs> to me. So, like, none of these. Yeah, I guess maybe those or those are the better. Do we want arched or do we want relaxed? Maybe relaxed. What do you think? We'll do the, the eyes and the nose and then we'll get back to brow so we can assess again. Okay. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> this is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> is there like a normal option? <laughs> that? <laughs> okay. Those are kind of fun. These ones? Yeah. Okay, keep those in mind. <laughs> oh god. Okay, the ones before them and then those aren't bad. But I think I like those more. Same. Okay. Seeing these ones. I like them both. I like those more, but I'll be happy with either one. That's fine. I have hazel eyes, so I don't know. I have bra uh, dark brown eyes. Honestly, I don't really see much of a difference. Well, let's say dark green, because that's 
between brown and hazel. Sure. I vibe with him. That one, that one. Yeah, the two yeah. you said were those. I like those two. Which one? I have a big ass nose. I wouldn't look at my nose for <laughs> reference. I have a witch's nose. I was like, I don't know what my <laughs> nose really mine is, looks like. Mine is more like this and this. <laughs> Which one's my nose? You have a very normal nose. So, I mean... Maybe... But it doesn't point up like that. No. It's just... Normal. Uh, now these are like normal, so I don't think you're like, I don't really care. <laughs> Pick one. <laughs> oh, we can just go by the name. Let's see. That's Button. That's Greek, Hawk, Mirin, Roman, Rumple. So like Rumple still skin? Nub, Wide. <laughs> Greek's okay. always good. Greek's always good. <laughs> <laughs> Go for snub for a candle snub. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Do you pick? I picked the eyebrows, didn't I? Picked the eye color. Oh. Go with that one, because we're already on that one. Just go to the next thing. <laughs> oh. Sassy. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe just the line. Yeah. <laughs> and then I don't think color really matters. Nope. Okay. It's fine. Great. We still like the brows? Yeah, let's go with so. it. All right, facial hair. Well, first oh. of all, let's match our hair. <laughs> okay, I kind of don't hate that one. That one? Yeah, I kind of don't hate it. I can do that one. Like it? I don't. I'm not sure that it fits his face, <laughs> but I don't hate it. Does that mean you want it or not? I don't know. <laughs> Should he just have none? I don't know. I'm pretty indifferent, so I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Oh, God damn it. Do you know how many decisions I just had to make? Well, I like, I, I prefer like just, just a beard and that's not really an option. Yeah, so no, I it's not. I don't really care. Honestly. We could go none. Let's go back to the shadow on the head and see how that looks. I don't like it. I don't like it. You can be clean. Yeah. Or you can be bushy. Let's say he keeps it clean. We'll keep the hair on his body. Okay, that's fair. Should yes. Glasses? Cool. Cool. I'm gonna probably think I'm fine with it. Oh, not this. <laughs> I like the circle ones. Or the ones with the top. Yeah, I think those are the two I like also. Yeah. Do -do -do. The pink is cute. Oh, the pink's cute there too. Oh, it's hard. Uh, we do circle. I was like, I think we both have circle glasses. This those round rile. Oh, those are cute. <laughs> <laughs> Those are fun. Are nice. I like the like I all the ears. I like any of them, so I don't. This one. Yeah. Maybe just do silver. Silver. Okay. No, no tattoos. Okay. <laughs> 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 well, that's kind of nice, actually. Just plain white teeth. Mm hmm. 
sure. All right. <laughs> I kind of like that one. I like the flowers. A little heart pocket. <laughs> I wish the pants were darker though. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Oh, fancy. I like that. Oh. That's a lot. I like it though. <laughs> <laughs> I do like it, but it's a lot. <laughs> oh, that one's nice too. Kind of like that also. Honestly, I think I'm fine with any of the suits or the flower one. I. I kind of like the, the Hawaiian dad suit. No. Yes. That one? <laughs> <laughs> we can do it. It matches his glasses, too, with the pink in it. Yeah. Are we looking good, daddy? I think we're looking good, daddy. <laughs> now, look, it's even called the Tommy banana suit. <laughs> oh, we gotta name our dad. Oh, no. That's a lot of pressure. What does he look like to you? What's the daddiest name you can think of? Okay, well, the daddiest name I can think of, plus what he looks like to me, is completely opposite. Because <laughs> he looks like a Bradley. Okay. What's the daddiest name you can think of? Tim. Ken? Tim. Tim. Tim Bradley. Tim Bradley? First last name. I can't, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Easy. <laughs> oh. Well. We on caps level. I'm very hard to type, sadly. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Sorry if I just hit the mic like a gazillion times. Be that dad? Be that dad. Be that, that dad. dad. Meet Tim, everybody. Tim Bradley. <laughs> Tim Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. Hmm. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos in little photo albums. Yeah. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile, and we begin looking through it. Oh, look at little Amanda. Oh, she's so cute. Look at the little flower shirt. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. She is pretty cool. Oh. The only way your father and I... Oh, okay, interesting. The only way your mother and I... Okay. He's a bisexual king. Great. <laughs> Love it. Look the only way your mother and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. Aww. Yeah, that's a bisexual. You look at Tim and you look and <laughs> that's a bisexual. It's like looking into a mirror. <laughs> but whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. Oh, that was supposed to be my, my line. I forgot <laughs> I was reading. For, I got onto the fact that he looked like <laughs> And I was like, we're just going to keep going. Just can't stop staring at him. It's fine. We made him. <laughs> he is our creation. <laughs> You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. It's a long time. Uh, you got two whole years with just sunglasses. Nice. Halloween when you were maybe four. Oh, cute. Oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess dragon. Yes, Amanda. Always go both. Always go both. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Mm. Right. Yep. Definitely repress that memory. Oh, same. <laughs> and uh. this was you in your horse phase. <clears throat> Everyone has one. I feel, I was about to say, I was like, I think we all have one. Hmm. Dad. I believe you named that plush horse, sir. What? <laughs> plush horse, Sir Horsington the Brave. Hmm. I don't think that was his. Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Oh, do you? <laughs> Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. That's fair. 
Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in your ska band. Oh, of course we were in a ska band. Ouch, kid. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> the Scommunist Manifesto had a chance back in the day. Oh. No, it didn't. I look off into the distance and reminisce about the Radhorn section. Hey, it's Emma P. Ugh. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Dad. Dad? Emma R's been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who... Tried to <laughs> steal people's pets. <laughs> Fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station. Yes. Or pooped her pants during a sleepover. The tennis ball. <laughs> Lighter fluid, tennis ball, tennis racket. Right? Dad. That was you. <laughs> okay, yeah, we would do that. <laughs> oh, right. I was the wild child. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> I was six when you did it. <laughs> okay, Amanda, I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. So he was aiming for the police station. So he was aiming for the police station. <laughs> Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. <laughs> they didn't believe me either. Huh. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. Oh, she was pretty pretty. Oh, I love the lovely ladybug. Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFriday's. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tostada blast. I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. Ugh, dad. Still can't drive past McFridays without <laughs> gagging. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches deep down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Hmm. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Aw, it's our mom. Aw. Aw. I finally decide to break the silence. This was the day we were born, or this was the day we adopted you? This was the day we adopted you. It's kind of a funny story. Oh! You get a little, little speech. <laughs> <laughs> the day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. It wasn't anything big, just a little fender bender in the parking lot. But of course I was freaking out, and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. But your mother, oh man. She holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen her. She says, it's okay. It's all going to be okay. I didn't sign up for this to cry. <laughs> She was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. I miss her. Oh. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Yeah. She pats me on the back. Okay. Come on, Pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Huh. Oh. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. Look at this car vibe. I love it. <laughs> so many memories here. Hard to believe your mother and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Jesus Christ, how old are we? We look young as hell. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Uh. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You were a very imaginative child. Hey, remember when I broke the back window? Pl we get it, Amanda. You break stuff. <laughs> and there'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. Make that a hashtag. <laughs> you ready? 
We sit in silence for a moment. I watched my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. <laughs> Shake it up. <laughs> the moving van begins to pull away and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rear view mirror. So. So what? Hmm. So, sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Are you ready? <clears throat> <laughs> Nestled in beautiful, scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features... Washer and dryer hookups, a two-car garage, or multiple places to sleep. A two-car garage. <laughs> That's right, you heard me. A garage big enough for not one, but two whole cars. As well as room for all of my very important dad tools. And my motorcycle. My sick hog. The old steel pony. Dad's little motor... Velocipede? Dad. The two-wheeled transportation station. Dad. I have never ridden a motorcycle in my life, and to be honest, I'm afraid of them. <laughs> anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. I think it's great. Won't we... Uh, blah. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to? So I don't have to waste gas. And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. Hey, maybe I should have been Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, you know you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Hmm. Not going to happen, pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. See, I can't say lines like that. It has to be you. <laughs> Am I the cringy dad friend of our group? <laughs> Thank you, my <laughs> I don't know how to do that either. Okay, well, actually, that's kind of important, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Hmm. So you won't have to chase away or chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Ah. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Okay, are you sure I shouldn't have been Amanda? <laughs> Me, I'm almost 23. I'm so old. <laughs> yeah, you're a real... Don't you dare. Senior. Hmm. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. <laughs> like how I said it before I, the line <laughs> even came up. <laughs> Citizen. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore that. But I won't forget it. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first, we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Mm. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown. And the for sale sign is still in the yard. Hiya! And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. <laughs> nice form, sweet pea. <laughs> the music just kicked in. <laughs> I don't. I feel like there's a bug. <laughs> like it that's is. what it's it like feels in like. One of my ears. Yeah, it's in my left ear. It's in my right. <laughs> I got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. Ah. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. We need to unpack first. I need some coffee ASAP. Or did you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? Mm. I feel like we would both be like, we need coffee. Uh, yeah, both of us would be like that, but I, yeah, yeah. What, or what? I didn't know if we wanted to try and be the responsible dad and be like, no, we need we're, we're us. Okay, true. We need <laughs> coffee. 
I gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice. Ugh. Or I'm gonna be useless all day. <laughs> we can switch if you feel like you need to be a man and I could be the cringy dad. No, it's fine. I just wasn't expecting old bean juice. <laughs> I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. Coffee shop. Woo. <clears throat> oh, this is groovy. We walk down the street to the co to the coffee spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Yes. Man, this place or this is in such convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. <laughs> What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home? on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people. Yeah, mood. <laughs> that should have been me. <laughs> <laughs> mood. At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he is very much within my personal zone. That's, that's fair. Yeah, that's very fair. Mm. Dad. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there's in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're that jerk who left their mug? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> I have these thoughts. Aww. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? D fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Amanda! <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Clearly. We all are. It's the pandemic. <laughs> we walk inside. <laughs> Great. <laughs> are we going to meet our first hot dad? Oh, our first hot dad. Hello. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls and patrons lounge around on well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. <clears throat> Welcome to the Coffee Spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Hey. Oh, it's a... Uh, it's kind of dumb. Oh. It, gets it gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running? Mm. But people <laughs> ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time, and now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking. But man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. Okay, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Same. I love his tattoos. Hello. I, I like the tattoos. And the hair. The, the hair. The, the kind of like awkward but charming vibe. I'm he runs for a it. coffee shop. A coffee shop. Free coffee. Like, is this our dad? <laughs> Already sold? <laughs> <laughs> is this our daddy? <laughs> He just creeped in and he was like, stare. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> so, what'll it be? Ah. I scan the chalkboard menu and immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a dot, dot, dot. Oh. Oh, now I feel like we have to make him like us. Oh, no. Well, I automatically see the chai and I'm about it. I stick it in. Wait, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey. no. See, I would do black coffee. I know. But you I would. do like chai, so I can do chai. Okay. Because I can't do black coffee. Oh. oh spicy. spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> oh, it's a pun. Die ant wood. I die ant word. Word? I thought they were Die Ant Wood. Is it Die Ant Word? It's a South African rap group. They're How pretty... is the double O pronounced in South Africa? What's the phonetics behind that? I don't know. I know the band, but I always thought the band was Die Ant Wood. Oh, I've never heard of that. Oh, I know, I know who the reference oh. is. I, I, <laughs> I do to, not. Unless they had to change it because it's a game. I don't know. It, it's... But Tegan and Sarah was Tegan and Sarah. <laughs> Anyways, it's a South African rap group. They're pretty well known for their... Uh, evocative imagery in hyper-stylized music videos. That's one way to put it. Their music is as catchy as it is disturbing. Is this a generational thing? <laughs> Are you calling me old again? <laughs> you know what? Yeah. It's fine. I am mad. I will be mad. It's fine. <laughs> I would have an 
obscure music themed coffee shop. Okay. <laughs> hey. And now he's dot, dot, dot. <laughs> What are you? Oh, you're saying dot dot. Can you hear you in my headphones? <laughs> I'll just I'll be a little treat when I edit. Yeah, every time I'm just like dot dot dot. <laughs> I like it. Don't stop. I'm doing the thing again. But coming right up. And for you? I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Hey, Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? <laughs> uh, medium. <laughs> da, da, da. Wait, is biggie smalls big or small? Uh, da, da, da. I should change that, shouldn't I? <clears throat> Matt sets to making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? <laughs> What's your damage? <laughs> Are you new here? <laughs> Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. Ska was cool once. No, it wasn't. <laughs> this couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's all right. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Da, da, da. Okay. It's comfier than our couch. <laughs> Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. Hm. Come on. What'd we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But those are my three favorite things. <laughs> See? We're making progress. Matt sets our drinks down at our table and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Oh my god. <clears throat> Good one. Hi! We're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda and this is my dad, Tim. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Hey. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. <gasps> he has a daughter, too. She better not be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully they can get along and be friends. But also, <laughs> isn't the point of this that they're all dads, so they should all have kids, correct? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't date a dad if they don't have a child. He had a son, and it could have been, like... A son, but it's like a daughter. I don't know. I just wasn't expecting him to say he has a daughter. I forgot we're dating dads, okay? <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm lie. sure. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. Hey. You know what? Let me get your guys' opinion on something. Oh, no. Matt goes into the back <laughs> and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Oh, yes. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe, and I need help coming up with a name for it. <clears throat> well, I think we're going to have to taste test it first so we can um, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of... Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that banana bread a taste if you want us doing free creative labor. I think that would be commensurative with, uh... I've taught her well. We have trained for this thing. <laughs> I was just going to give you guys food and <laughs> bread anyway. He was like, okay, relax. <laughs> right, yes, that. <laughs> Matt serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. Hey. This is amazing. Thanks! The secret ingredient is bananas. <gasps> really? <laughs> so, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, oh God. I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Oh, please, let there be amazing ones. <sighs> banana bread Kennedys. Grateful banana bread. Right said banana bread. Okay. I'm between the last two. Is it because you don't know this band reference? The Dead Kennedys? No. But I do know Grateful Dead and Right Said Fred. Okay. Well, 
I don't know where I said Fred. Okay, so do you want to go with Grateful Banana Bread? I don't... I think that's the obvious one. He seems cool and hipsy. I okay. want him to like us. Okay. So it's either probably the Dead Kennedys, or what kind of music is this one? Where I said Fred? I'm not really sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just know the name. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I want him to like us. <laughs> I'm stressed already. <laughs> this is only the first ad. I know it doesn't matter that much. Okay, should we just... What kind of music does Banana Bread Kennedys make? Well, the Dead Kennedys. <laughs> the, de- <laughs> the Dead Kennedys. Um, they're like indie rock, I think. Okay. Right, said Fred. Well, they might just be flat out rock. Okay. The, yeah, they sing I'm Too Sexy. That's why I know them. Oh. So, like, <laughs> real cringe. <laughs> hey, it was in Shrek. <laughs> you know the band name from Shrek? Because <laughs> it's on my mom's iPod, so when it would play in the car, it would say song title and band name. So it'd be like, I'm too sexy, right said Fred. This has nothing to do with this video, but speaking of Shrek. Oh no. I took the 5,000 character personality oh, quiz. Oh no. And one of my top matches was Lord Farquaad. <laughs> That's who I am as a person. <laughs> He was like my 83% match of my personality. All of my pet matches were villains and then just awkward people. I was I'm, like, that tracks. I feel like I need to take this. Also in my top 80 was Spencer Hastings. And I'm like, well, all right, that's fine. Like from Pretty Little Liars? Yeah. It's, just, it's 5,000 characters and it uh-huh. just matches you personality wise with like who you match us with and mine were just like all of these popular villains and I was like and I was scrolling through with Richard and he was like you got a lot of villains so I was like yeah <laughs> I am like all of the villains and then I got like Ben Wyatt who's awkward oh Ben Wyatt's my favorite <laughs> and I just got like all these awkward but people I love Spencer Hastings she was my favorite in Pretty Little Liars oh she was my favorite too and okay I'm like, good because I am like her but it was just like <laughs> she's also a little like strict and I was like okay I okay. loved Spencer <laughs> maybe that's why I like you so much <laughs> I've been told I like her a lot Anyways, yeah Lord Farquaad also one of my top matches and Bob you Doctor can. was my biggest match I was like that tracks you can Lord Farquaad <sighs> apparently <laughs> apparently Richard got three Michael Sarah characters in a row and I was like <laughs> alright <laughs> you're I, Michael Sarah. I can see it <laughs> With how many stupid puns he was making in the car ride. He got, oh my he got God. like Scott Pilgrim. He got Nick from Nick and Nora. And then there was another one he got that matched. It was Michael. Oh, uh, George Michael Bluth from Arrested Development. And I was like, you got every Michael Sarah character <laughs> ever. <laughs> anyway. I think we got to go Dead Kennedys. Okay, do it. Because these are, I don't, I don't know, or great. Maybe it is Grateful Dead. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I just like that name more also, I think. Yeah. BBK. GBB. RSVP. Okay, BBK is... Oh, no. Never mind. B and T sound really similar. I was like, I don't think we should go with that. <laughs> BTK is what you <laughs> Well, B and T had the same E ending, and so it just clicked in my brain. I was like, I don't think we should go with that. But never mind. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know. I've vetted it. It's okay. <laughs> you pick final answer. Final answer you pick. Why? Because I am overthinking it. I stress myself out on visual novels all the time. This is why you're here. Well, <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> hey, Siri. Pick, pick one, through one through three. That would be two. Oh. All right. Let's see. Oh! I knew it! I knew it. <laughs> Say your line. <laughs> like the yeah. jam rock band fronted by Jerry Garcia? What? That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Because you seem to hate it. <laughs> yeah, he did. I think that was just more uh, personal. <laughs> he didn't like our <laughs> music taste. <laughs> Yeah, grateful banana bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. 
Even da, da, da. <laughs> I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my okay, mouth. Okay, I love Matt. <laughs> and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. I love Matt too, but I think we just ruined every chance we had with him. Uh, d- not necessarily. Da, da, da. <laughs> Enjoy your coffee. Thanks. Baby. <laughs> See? It sounds good when you say it. Okay, well, if I knew that was the next line, I would have said it better. Oh, who is those? I don't know. Should Okay, before we do this, do you want me to do the inner monologue? So that way you can do the daughter and the other character, and then I'll do the dad and the inner monologue. You can do that, yeah. That okay. might work out. <laughs> Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. Oh, is he the dark horse of the game? I guess. Seems like it. Those eyebrows. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay. Not that I put my customer service voice on for, like, the goodbye. (laughs) But you did. I think that fits. (laughs) Okay. Now that we're full of caffeine, where to? I should get back to unpacking. Let's get some fresh air or I need a nap. Okay. I really feel like we need to start unpacking. We've had our coffee. <laughs> okay, we can we can do that. <clears throat> That's fine. I've got a lot on my plate right now. Did you know that moving is one of the biggest sources of stress for adults? Is it right behind the constant fear that you smell bad and everyone's too polite to tell you? Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Do I smell bad? Amanda gives me a whiff. You're fine, Pops. Let's go home. Okay, but are you just not telling me? (laughs) 